close this down and I guess what I wanted to show you next would be the Wireshark Network Analyzer. Now this doesn't have all the cracking, it's not an all-in-one package like, like Kane would be, but it's a cool thing to know anyway, Wireshark's pretty popular. So what you're going to do is, you know, after you install Wireshark, you click on List the Available Capture Devices. And what's going to happen here is you're going to see, see all your devices, and obviously MS Tunnel thing, that's something useless, Hamachi, that's a little program. This is my main LAN device, your NVIDIA thing. See, right now it's, it's, it's sending packets, actually, so that's how you know that's the one to start. You'll click Start, and you'll start capturing packets from this device. Now, um, right now, since I turned off Kane, I'm not going to bother going to the other computer uh, because you're not going to see anything. It, so, you know, if we were man in the middle with Kane, then we would see all those packets. But why bother doing the same thing twice? So, uh, I think I'll just show you a quick little thing here with Wireshark and uh, setting up the filters for it. So we go here, go to breadandrich.com. Obviously not going to work because we haven't Google bombed it yet. Enrich.com. There's the website, and I click on blog. There's our blog post, and I log on in. Obviously, my password is uh, Richard, and this is my password. Send. Boom! I'm in the WordPress WordPress blog. So I'm going to log out here and X out of this, and BAM! This is the thing about Wireshark, and this is why I uh, actually really enjoy Kane, is because this is literally every little packet of information that has been sent just in that short amount of time. All sorts of HTTP requests, all sorts of just these TCP, these are little acknowledgement requests, here you are, bits of the packets that are sent, all sorts of stuff. And it's quite a bit. I mean, look how little this scroll bar is. So it's kind of crazy. Um, there's a few things you can do. You can, uh, you know, you can sort it by by DNS, and only the little DNS packets come up, and that kind of lets you lets you kind of figure out where you're out here. You know, Bradenrich.com is kind of where we went. Uh, you can actually make full expressions here. Now I know from previous messing around with this what I'm interested in. So I'm going to go and scroll on down here. I mean, there are a ton of protocols that you can search for, depending on what you're looking for. And honestly, I do not have the time or knowledge of most of this stuff to really help you out. But, you know, eh, for a starter video, we're going to be looking at one main thing here. So Oop, there we go, HTTP. Now we're going to be looking for HTTP uh, requests, and they're going to contain the protocol or value post. Got to get rid of this first, and HTTP contains post, capitalized, and apply. And we ought to, yep, here we go. Now if you'll see here, this again, blog login.php. This is again my login, and... Here's the actual, uh, let me expand this a little, here's the actual packet that was sent. There's its binary, and you know, you got hex and binary here, and if we scroll around for it, here we go, log, oops, log Richard, password, this is my password, submit. So, that's just a cool little tutorial here about, uh, Using Wireshark along with using Kane. Obviously, Kane makes it real easy to do everything. Wireshark is a it's also a very popular one just for looking at packets. And you know, you can also do some cool other stuff. I'm not sure about Kane, but IRC chat, uh, you know, internet chat that transmits in clear text unless they encrypt it. So you can you can get people's IRC logins if you're man if you use Kane to set up a man in the middle attack, and then. If you use Wireshark to sniff, you know, for stuff, and if you know what you're looking for, and I believe also AIM, I believe transmits in the clear. Um, pretty sure. I mean, again, I'm pretty sure you can encrypt those, but I don't think. I bet you most people don't. So I know a buddy of mine from college. He would just go to the library and spy on AIM, AIM chats. So pretty sure that's what he was telling me. So that's just uh, some cool stuff you can do with Wireshark. Can't quite do that with Kane, and. Uh, Crap. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be back in a little while and show you a video about cracking passwords and, uh, you, know, we, you know, for a helpful purpose, not to get into someone's computer, you know, when your friend messes your computer up and you gotta, you gotta get back in. Uh, until next time, I'll see y'all.